Having a good sprinkler is an essential part of any landscape, whether you're watering your lawn or your garden beds. And here are four brand new models from the company Gardena. These were sent to me at no cost to get my opinion and see what these things could actually do. Our first model is called their Pulse Sprinkler. Now this one costs $60, sprays up to 41 feet, and it's clearly based on the old mechanical sprinklers that you probably saw when you were a kid. Now for the $60 price, you do get a five year warranty and the build quality is surprisingly good. It's made of both aluminum and plastic. Once you put it in with your foot, all you need to do is adjust the arc. This model can spray water in a circular pattern between 20 and 360 degrees. Now you make those adjustments just by moving those two orange levers. It's also got a quick connect fitting on the side, so if you're already using Gardena fittings, this thing just snaps right onto your hose. Now personally, I love those old sprinklers, so this one's a pretty good upgrade. It's not nearly as noisy, but you do still get some of that satisfying sounds as this thing moves around. You can also reduce the flow of water by turning that orange dial. That lowers a hood that restricts it down to about six feet. So this model's pretty flexible if you're watering circular areas. You can connect more than one of these together. It's got a kind of flow through design. You just unscrew that cap and you can connect a hose and add another sprinkler. And while I love the build quality, this may not be the best sprinkler to purchase if you've got a rectangular or square yard. This is gonna be useful if you want something you can just grab and go because it is so simple to set up. Now this next model really steps up the sprinkler game. This one is called the AquaZoom Compact, sells for $55 and also has a five year warranty, but it's also really powerful. This model can shoot the water 59 feet away and up to 39 feet wide, but it's got a cool trick. On the side of the sprinkler are these two orange switches. When you flip them, you can actually modify the pattern of the arc. This is really cool because you can do it independently. So if you're gonna place this thing next to your house or a bed, you can be watering on a straight line on one side and expand your arc fully on the other. That means you don't have to run around trying to find the perfect spot for the sprinkler anymore and prevent wasting water. It's also pretty cool that this sprinkler is totally silent. Additionally, if you wanna make adjustments, it's simple to do. It's got these two orange dials. This allows you to control the arc of how far the sprinkler will spray. But as many of you know, you usually get wet when you're making this adjustment. Except this model has what has to be the coolest feature of all. It's got a built-in valve. This allows you to turn the water off, but not completely. When you switch it to the off position, you can see it just puts out a tiny amount of water. You can now see exactly where the arc is gonna go, but it's not blasting you. So now you keep it in the low position, set the arc exactly where you want, and now you can turn that valve back to full and walk away. And like the Pulse model, you can also connect up additional sprinklers. Now there's no magic here. If you don't have enough water pressure, you may only be able to run one. But I think most houses should be able to string at least two of these together and get a pretty decent amount of water output. But before you buy anything, take a look at the next model. This is also called the AquaZoom, but it's called the AquaZoom Large. And this one might just be the Cadillac of sprinklers, but surprisingly, it sells for the same price as the compact model, but it can water up to 70 feet long and 55 feet wide. It's got a built-in filter, which is pretty unusual, and you can get to it just by unscrewing it off the end. It shares the same jet system as the AquaZoom Compact. Additionally, you've got that on-off valve, but it's much more pronounced, and it's got the same adjustment dials, but they are super easy to get to on this one because it is so much bigger. You'll notice on three of the four feet, it's actually got a hole. That allows you to put in a stake, so if you want to set your sprinkler up so that someone doesn't move it, you can put whatever you want in there to keep it in place. And keeping the water in the minimized position, now you can adjust the arc. Use these prominent levers, you can adjust either the right or the left hand side. Again, this feature is super cool, especially if you're watering next to a structure. Now with everything set the way we want, we can turn the water on full and see what kind of a job this thing does. And because the jets are made of silicone, if they ever get plugged up, all you've gotta do is run your hand across them and it should release any clogged debris. And because this design is bigger, you can definitely see the increased amount of water being put out. So if you've got a larger yard or you just want the ability to cover a bigger space, this model is definitely gonna be the one to pick. And like the compact model, this thing is also totally silent. The only thing you hear is basically the water coming out of the jets. I ran this one for hours, I had no problems at all, and I love the big knob and the ability to adjust this thing a lot easier. I think so far out of the three, this one is definitely my top pick. This final model is called the Oscillating AquaZoom Large. Now it's really confusing because all these names are so similar, but this is essentially their budget version. Water's up to 59 feet long and 52 feet across, which sounds really good. It also has a built-in filter and you've got the same adjustment dials to set the arc, but it's missing a number of features that I really liked. It doesn't have the on-off valve, so you are gonna get wet if you have to make adjustments or try to hold the thing away from you. And the nozzles on this one are rigid plastic, they're not silicone, so if they get clogged, you'll have to use something like a toothpick or another device to clean them out. 
You also lose the ability to adjust the shape of the arc like the previous model. So at the $48 price tag, I really wouldn't go for this one because it's just too close in price to spending just a few dollars more to get all those other cool features. Now Gardena makes a ton of sprinklers and none of them are inexpensive, but I think for the features you're getting and the quality, these things could definitely be worth your consideration. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you like any of these sprinklers? Do you have another brand that you use yourself? Or are the thoughts on what I could do to improve this video in the future?